Hi, this is Dina with Left Lane Finds. I'm back at the Goodwill. Come thrift with me. I found this interesting looking lamp and I was like, wow, I've never seen anything like this. I'm turning it around and looking at it. They wanted $12.99 for it. I left it there, but I'm still thinking about it. I thought this picture was kind of interesting with the three fish on it. As I looked at it later, it did have a chip on the back of it. These are just some Corel plates. And then I saw this. I'm like, that is really unique. And I recognized it, but I didn't know how I recognized it. It was a Jim Shore piece. And I recognized it from other reseller YouTube videos. In the cart she goes. Trying to show you the bottom here. I need my camera to focus. It is $9.99. I found this vintage beauty over by the bookshelves and I put it right in my cart. I was not happy to see the sand all over that dish, but I did want to see what this one was turned it over and it was Harker pottery but I'm not sure about getting this for $2.99 I wonder if that dish under the sand is vintage these floral canisters were so pretty and I was surprised when I turned it over here that they are treasure craft I was like wow look at that I've only ever seen the brown wood style treasure craft pieces, so I was surprised. Look at this adorable mug. It's pretty sizable. It's got cats on it. They got their Christmas hats on it. And I'm just trying to get my camera to focus for you guys. <laughs> Look at that. Aren't they adorable? It's a generic made in China mug. I just loved the cat motif. I was thinking about getting it until I saw it was $2.99. The bright turquoise blue on these plates caught my eye and I thought, wow, that's a lot. They are all restaurant wear. Just stacks and stacks of them. Too many for me to buy. The more I looked, the more I found of them. I love these vintage serving pieces, but they just wanted too much for them. The light yellow in this piece caught my eye. It is a Queen Anne glass bake dish that you would make like a jello mold in or cakes. You can see that they wanted $12.99 for it, which is exactly what they sell for on eBay. Found some more of those blue restaurant plates. They were made by Jackson, by the way. These were bright, but they were all plastic. And yes, another stack of the Jackson restaurant wear plates. I picked up these plates just to see what they were. Turned out to be a generic made in China plates. Look how adorable this little white fluffy kitten looks on this tin. It is a tin by Stewart's for shortbread cookies. They wanted a dollar ninety-nine for it, but I had to leave it on the shelf. Just so cute. I saw this clown and I thought he might be something interesting. He's sitting on a globe, I think, or something. It was a Prince Albert from 1980. I'm trying to show you the bottom there. But they wanted $5.99 for him. So I was like, I don't think so. I always look through this area of travel mugs and tumblers. I am mostly looking for either Starbucks or a Yeti. I did find these vintage Tupperware containers, but they wanted $3.99 a piece. 
they were in excellent condition but I still had to leave them there because that is too much for me to pay this was a really nice display of these little girl figurines including the baby these are vintage Inesco they wanted let me turn it around $5.99 a piece for these I was like oh I'm going to have to leave them there I just love their pastel dresses next up was more clowns I know some people will avoid these I thought they were kind of neat looking but for $7.99 I'm definitely going to be avoiding the clowns. This one was made by Man, M-A-N-N. And I love the yellow jacket on this one. Little fez hat. And this one was Arnett Imports. Also $7.99. Back he goes. My next video will be the haul video. Please stop by to see that. Thank you for watching and I love reading your comments so put a comment down below.